everyone, welcome to my channel. This is Jay from Coding with Jaybird, where I upload weekly tutorials to help build your confidence in coding. Today we're going to have a look at how to build our very first external JavaScript file. Let's get started. All right, so let's say we have a new client that we'd like to build a website for. I would normally start with having a folder somewhere on my computer, in this case the desktop, and I'll name it the name of the client's website. So let's just use Jaybird Inc. for now. Now note that when I say Jaybird Inc., I'm not going to put a space between the two words. I'm going to use dashes or an underscore or simply nothing and have it all combined as one word. And what I have here is a loyalty-free image that I've downloaded from Pixabay, and I'm going to drag that into my jaybird.inc folder to make it part of this project. Normally for any project, you would have an index.html file, CSS folder, and an images folder. So I'm gonna go ahead and create an IMG folder for images. And I'm also going to create another folder here called CSS in which we're going to put in our style sheets. Now, this laptop, dash three three so forth this long name uh, it's not really named very well so let's go ahead and name it something that's a bit more user friendly and has some more meaning to our code so i'll just call it a computer since it's an image of a computer and i'm going to drag that and put that in my images folder like so uh, now that we have the basic file structure set up let's go ahead drag this into vs code and open this in our code editor and we can see our files are all here that's great now I can go ahead and add and oops, not inside there, but in my root folder, I'd like to add an index.html file. And also in this root folder, I'd like to add, let's say an about.html, and I may have a contact.html file. For this demo, we're just gonna go through the index file. So I'm using Emmet uh, exclamation tab. I'll get my starter template. And let's create a new title here and we'll call this Jaybird Inc. And so that we can see something in our browser when we run this code, let's put an H1 tag and we'll just call this Welcome to Coding with Jaybird. Now, it's gonna be a very simple file. I'd like to practice uh, adding some images and um, linking to our style sheet. So let's go ahead and add an image. Now, when we're trying to reference a source for the image, we have to think about where we are at the time that we're writing this tag. So we're within this index.html document. So relative to this index.html, we need to enter this IMG folder and then reference the computer.jpg file. So let's go ahead and write IMG. So enter the IMG folder and the forward slash says we're entering the folder and then we're referencing the computer.jpg file. I'll go ahead and give this an alt tag of computer. And just so that we don't have a ginormous image, I'll give this a width of let's say 500. Now I'm going to save this and we should have a look at this in our live server. Okay, looks good, a little simple, but it looks good. So let's go ahead and add a little bit of styling just so that it looks a little bit nicer than this. So I'm going to go ahead and add a styles.css style sheet in my CSS folder. And in the index.html folder, I'm going to link to the style sheet. So let's go ahead and say styles.css and we'll save it. Okay, so now that we've added the style sheet, let's add some styles to the style sheet. Uh, let's say we just want something simple and we target the body and we'll give it a background color of let's say uh, CCC, which is the equivalent of a light gray. And let's also give this um, maybe text align center so that all of our content is centered on the page. So let's save this and let's go back to our index.html file and then hit go live so we can see this in the live server. And uh oh, why is this not working? Uh, let's ask our handy debugging duck, Tim. Okay, so it looks like Tim is telling me there's something going on in line number eight. We have referenced this file incorrectly because the styles are not being applied. So the name is correct. However, we are in this index.html file and the styles.css is within the CSS folder. So 
let's go ahead and reference the folder first. So let's hop into the CSS folder, CSS forward slash, and then grab the styles.css file. And now let's go live and have a look at this and hopefully it works. Yay, it works. All right, that's awesome. So here is our simple HTML web page with uh, an image file and some CSS styles. So now let's go ahead and add some JavaScript code to this. Now we need to put some JavaScript code into our HTML document. So as we remember from our last tutorial, it's recommended and best practice to put it at the bottom of our body just before the closing body tag, like so. Now if I had 15 or 20 lines of JavaScript code or more, it would not be recommended to put that much JavaScript all within a script tag in our HTML document. So the best practice is to create an external JavaScript file. However, where would we place this file? Our CSS folder is meant for CSS style sheets. An IMG folder is meant for our images. So let's create another folder loose in our root project directory. And we will call this JS, short for JavaScript. And in this JavaScript folder, we are going to create a new file and we're going to call this main.js. Now going back to our index.html file, we can link to an external JavaScript file with the source attribute. So let's go ahead and do that. In our opening script tag, we'd like to have source src equals and now we need to reference this javascript file so where is this file with respect to the index.html it's inside the js folder so let's enter the js folder with the js forward slash and then let's reference the javascript file which is called main.js oops and i'll save this now we don't actually have any content in our javascript file so let's go ahead and put some in external javascript code goes here and let's just put in a simple alert uh, so I'm just going to alert welcome user and let's not forget that every line of JavaScript code should have a semicolon at the end of it now I'll save this file and then we'll go into our index.html file and we'll start the live server and great we see our JavaScript alert. So we can see that we've successfully attached an external JavaScript file through a script tag in our HTML document. That is fantastic. Once we hit OK, we can see the rest of our HTML code. So let's go back to our VS code now and let's just add one more message here. We'll log something to the console this time and let's just log a simple standard message of hello world and Let's not forget our semicolon at the end of the line. I'll save this going back into our HTML file. Let's go live with this index file. And we can see our welcome user. There's the rest of our code. Now, using what I taught you in the last tutorial, uh, Option Command J or Control Shift J on a Windows machine, we can see our console. And in the console, we can see our message that we'd like to output called hello world. So that's great. Everything looks good. Now, if you take a look on the right here, it now says main.js. So that tells us that this JavaScript message or this JavaScript piece of code is not coming directly from our index file, but rather from our main.js file and more specifically from line five. So let's go ahead and have a look if that's correct in our main.js line five. And yes, it is correct. So as you can see, this is how we would link to an external JavaScript file. And this is what a complete web project would look like. If you'd like to watch more of my coding videos in the weeks to come, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel where I'll be uploading weekly tutorials to help build your confidence in coding. Until next time, hope you all have a wonderful week and please keep on coding.